No dividend investor likes to see a decrease in the dividend payments, but sometimes you can't avoid it. That's the situation with the dividend from Medical Properties Trust. Medical Properties Trust is a real estate investment trust formed in 2003 to acquire and develop net leased hospital facilities. It owns 444 hospital facilities in 10 countries with approximately 44,000 beds. The thing that I like most about the company is how simple is its business model. It acquires properties using debt and then generates income by renting those properties. And the best part is that its leases contain built-in annual rent escalators that will contribute to its cash flow more and more over time. Analysts give the stock a hold rating with almost 70% upside potential which combined with its 8.5% dividend yield after the cut gives it a buy rating for me. 20% of shares are sold short, but sooner or later these positions must be closed, which will give an extra boost to the share price. One good sign that we can look at is institutional investors. In the last three years they are buying more and more shares of the company. Insider trading and institutional ownership are two of the most important metrics that you can look at, because most of the time they have some information that we can't find anywhere. After reporting its second quarter, quarter results, its stock price lost around a third of its value. That has driven the dividend yield up to over 16%. The company continues to face headwinds from tenant issues, higher interest rates and the media. The share price could be turned down, mostly because two of its biggest tenants are facing significant financial pressure. These are Stewart Healthcare and Prospect Medical Holdings. Medical Properties Trust is facing criticism for how it's handling those issues, but they are trying to navigate these problems while preserving as much value for shareholders as possible. The company declared its next payment for October 12th to shareholders of record as of September 14th. The payment will be 15 cents a share, which is almost 50% lower than the previous payment of 29 cents a share. With this payout, the board of directors is targeting a payout of projected funds from operations of 60%. I was expecting the share price to go even lower after the dividend cut. But it seems I was wrong and this dividend reduction was already priced in. Maybe investors were waiting to see what the new dividend will be and they will will start buying again. After the dividend yield dropped in half, Medical Properties Trust won't be in trending stocks anymore and it will attract some serious investors. Of course this will take some time but I'm investing long term. I will be waiting and dollar cost averaging. After the cut, the dividend yield is still ultra high. At $7 a share, the dividend yield is over 8.5%. This sounds good enough for me to continue buying the stock. After they announced updated capital allocation strategy, Medical Properties Trust will become a better company. With the money left from the dividend cut, it will become even stronger. First, Medical Properties Trust will reduce some of its high yielding debt which is one of its biggest threats. And second, their balance sheet will improve quickly and they will be in a much better position for future acquisitions. The company has identified some non-real estate assets to be sold. So maybe now they will stop selling properties and instead focus on acquisitions. Long term acquisitions are the best value drivers for REITs. Medical properties trust is in an industry where demand will never stop because people will need to receive healthcare services somewhere, especially more advanced services like surgeries. That dividend cut hurt my passive income, but in the long run this is the best decision for the company and I was ready for it. After some cost restructuring, Medical Properties Trust will start growing again and will reward investors with growing dividends and price appreciation. I have a heavy commitment to this company and recovery is likely when interest rates begin to ease. Till then I will continue buying shares heavily, at least until they hit $8 a share. And after that I will reinvest the dividends. This is all for today, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more dividend related content. See you soon, bye bye.